Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we paint the wing, the wing membrane of this devil bat dragon wing by Dark Gods. This is a sculpt by Dark Gods. You should check him out at Instagram. Awesome stuff. It's super detailed. Basically, it's going to paint by itself. So we're going to use Valio glaze medium. So and I will try to answer why or, or what's the difference of just thinning it with water and why use glaze medium. So the how is easy. You have we have tons of videos of, of how to use and how to paint. So as you've noticed with my channel I try to answer the whys. We always get the when it comes to airbrushing to thin it into skim milk consistency now with hand painting you'll hear a lot or read a lot that you should thin it into glaze consistency so that's where the Valeo glaze medium comes in because it's easier to add glaze medium than to thin with water and come up with that consistent glaze consistency so the glaze medium much like the matte medium and other Vallejo mediums will add transparency to the paints so when it adds transparency to the paint it's easier to glaze over zenithal priming you won't really cover the shading produced with the zenithal priming so what's the difference with just adding water well the consistency or the viscosity of the paints is more predictable with the glaze medium it's a bit runny but it's not as runny as just water by runny i mean you'll be pushing and pulling a lot of pigments because the tendency of the paints thin with water will go around or along the crevices now this is around three thin coats now we're going to add a bit of reddish flesh i'm sorry as much as i don't want to use my nocturna paints they're really awesome so i don't i i can't find a good alternative a good vallejo alternative because they're really nice so we're, we're building up more opaque paint underneath the wings because i want those those areas to be lighter later now we're done with the base color of the wings super easy I highly recommend glaze medium and of course my nocturna paints now we build up lighter flesh tones around the base area or around the bottom part of the wings this will give a transparent look to the wings later the Vallejo old rose is not too far from the color the color I mean is not too far from the pink base color so we're not adding glaze medium here we're just painting over the like the raised areas of the wings as i've said this model is so detailed it's painting by itself so you're just painting over the raised areas and voila it's really good already now i got hasty or lazy so i'm dry brushing around the edges of the wings with the basic skin tone so this will give a lighter tone to the bottom part of the wings and a transparent look to the overall look or i mean it the wings will look more transparent don't worry if this looks bad because there's a ton of glazing ahead and it will blend everything together now we use the vallejo glaze medium again we mix it one is to one roughly with vallejo dark red so why not use washes or inks well basically Paint with glaze medium covers better or faster than inks and washes and it's also transparent so you have the best of both worlds it's opaque yet transparent at the same time the dark red paint mixed with glaze medium is now giving us a very nice contrast against the pink wings and it's as I've said it's faster than just using washes or inks and you get to control them because the consistency is not too watery unlike just adding water or, or using inks with water that's too watery it tends to go along the crevices this one it covers or it filters the the surface of the model very well now you let this dry or use a hair dryer to dry it then we paint the veins so I chose violet red, not a very dark purple color or violet color so that it won't jump out um, and then be too loud for, for this purpose. So the violet red is just a bit darker than our base color. So just paint away the veins. 
Now I realize I need a darker purple, a darker violet, so I'm using Nocturna again for, for the upper areas of the wings. Pretty happy with the result so far, but let's blend this further so that it looks really transparent. Now we're going to use some game inks. Game inks are more opaque than washes, so you just thin them around two parts ink to with one part water or one is to one with water it's it's really watery it's going to run across the crevices and the details which is really nice because this model is super detailed now i think it's looking good at this point but let's push it further let's paint some highlights skin highlights so that those veins will look more transparent now we're mixing glaze medium again with basic skin tone so that it won't like well so that it's more transparent it won't jump out and then be too loud we don't also have to thin it in glaze consistency because it's transparent already and as i've said it's easier to control than to super thin your paints i hope that you see in this video that because that the glaze paint or the paint with glaze medium is less watery it's less flowing you could control it better than the glaze consistency that all expert painters tell you to do which is over thin your paints and glaze them over the surface i tell you this is easier you just have to get a bottle of glaze medium also the videos here that are sped up are only sped up up to twice the speed so i'm painting it really fast because i'm just painting over the race areas of the sculpt of the model and it's super easy super easy stuff and i hope you try it out it's you're going to enjoy painting all those details and it's going to be much much easier so what's matte medium satin medium and gloss medium so the other standard mediums that are non-glaze mediums are basically the same in a way because they add transparency to the paints but the glaze medium is more watery so the matte medium or the other mediums are less watery so i think you'll find it easier to use the matte medium but we'll do that on a separate video so this step is a bit optional i'm just repainting more veins to the wings this time with a finer um, zero to brush from red grass so I'm painting tinier veins and I thinned it a bit more. Now we do the final highlights. Again, pardon for using another Nocturna paint. It's basically just light flesh. You add a bit of white and you come up with a lighter flesh. But I'm lazy to mix so I'm using Nocturna again. Basically, we're painting less and less areas with, with the final highlights, just making sure that the details pop up really nice, adding more contrast to the wings and giving a more transparent look to the veins again. So this is just a finishing touch, but I wanted to show you that small things like this would, would really give you a nicer finish. As much as I want to use dark brown, sepia, and dark green inks, to, to finish off these wings I'll, I'll do that at the end once I've, I've finished painting the rest of the model so I hope you like the video like comment subscribe and do visit my website saludos Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.